bonjour, or good morning from me in France. The breakfast today is free range eggs with brioche and raclette cheese and a little bit of salsa. Mm, I'll enjoy that in a minute. But before I enjoy my breakfast, let me tell you about the history of Velcro. When engineer George Mestral was out for a walk with Milka, the poor dog got covered in burrs. These plants are propagated by sticking onto fur of animals and then walking around their environment, spreading their seeds. George, no doubt slightly annoyed that Milka was covered in burrs, wondered if there was possibly a project idea. So this is what he came up with, the idea of a hook and a loop. George's first challenge was to find the right type of fabric to make the Velcro out of. He needed something with a strong bonding system. Enlisting the help of a weaver in Lyon, France, George first tried his invention using cotton. The weaver produced a prototype with one cotton strip containing thousands of hooks and the other strip made of thousands of loops. George, however, found that the cotton was too soft. It would not stand up to repeated openings and closures. Almost giving up with the idea, he decided to snip all the hoops with a cut, making them look like this. George's idea is also very much a product of its time, because in the late 50s, he now had man-made fibres to use in his design. And suddenly it worked. The hooks could slide in through the cut section and find millions of places to attach. In order to mass produce Velcro, George needed to produce a special type of loom that could weave the fibres to just the right size, shape and density. By 1955, George had invented this machine that made Velcro just right. Each square inch of material contains 300 hooks, a density that is proven to stay just strong enough fastened, but is easily releasable. George Mestrel patented the idea in Switzerland in 1955, and he became almost as famous as this Swiss guy who didn't invent Velcro. Well, how did Velcro get its name? Well, let me tell you the French secret. I guess in the 1950s, people liked joining words together to make brand names. The classic one is New York, NY, and London, L-O-N, Nylon. But George, as a French speaker, came up with these two words, velour, velvet, and crochet, or hook. Velcro, 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 brilliant. Velcro's big break came when Milka the dog's invention went to the moon. NASA embraced Velcro for fastening small objects in space. It doesn't need to be zero gravity, it's just easy to use. Today, Velcro is everywhere. From healthcare setting blood pressure cuffs, orthopedic devices, and even surgeons' gowns. Sporting equipment, camping equipment, toys and recreation, airline seat cushions, and most impressively, Velcro is used to hold parts of the human body together in surgery, especially in heart transplants. Mm. This is really fascinating, researching these kind of films for you. Velcro actually had a setback. The US military was using Velcro fasteners on their uniforms, but they discovered in the dusty and sandy environment of Afghanistan that the Velcro fasteners would clog up and wouldn't hold the uniforms closed. George and Milka's patent ran out in 1988, and now Velcro is very specialised. So they came up with a new design, no longer using the hook and loop, but using these tiny T-shaped hammers which interlock and can be molded into plastic parts while they're being made. Industry can specify how much weight the Velcro can carry and how separable or peelable it is. In 2022, you're going to see a new use of Velcro in packaging. On trial in the US are packets of Minto mints with packets that can be joined together 
resealed with Velcro. So did George Mestrel become a wealthy man? Yes, he ended up living in this chateau in Switzerland with Milk of the Dog. The most important thing about Velcro, it's the sellotape, the Kleenex, the Hoover. It's the brand name that defines the product. People don't ask for hook and loop fastening system. They ask for Velcro. Thanks for letting me do this. It was really fun researching it for you. If you liked it, please give the film a thumbs up, subscribe, it's free, and Patreons to my channel. Get to suggest film ideas and choose from monthly polls what I research next. The truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.